All right, so I got lined up here. You want to make sure you're centered. And it gives a wide range of bolt patterns. Right now, I'm bolting it up with the clutch a little bit lower to clear this. I may have to move it, but for right now, I'm just kind of test fitting and seeing where all the where everything lines up. Next up, I'm guessing that this goes on here. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. I think I got the wrong part. So fast forward a week and thanks to Movie Magic, I now have the parts that I need. Uh, I went ahead and called Go Power Sports. They are cool about it. I ordered a 3 quarter inch shaft drive unit for the torque converter and now we're going to go ahead and put it on. The directions aren't too helpful, but I was able to figure out uh, the way it was supposed to go on. Uh, the old comic instructions say that there's supposed to be a spacer right here it's actually now welded on so you don't have to worry about that part so I'm going to show you how to go ahead and just kind of slap this guy in this is your brass bushing right there this is a two-piece unit right here slide that guy on Slide this guy on. Okay, so how to install a torque converter on a Predator 212. So this is your mating surface right here. These are your bolt holes. Slide this guy up. There's lots of configurations to choose from, um, but you're going to be limited because of the uh, the bearing housing right here. It's going to be hidden on the cylinder. So if you want to go up, this is about as high up as you can go. Now you can drop it down lower, but I think I'm just going to go with this first. Tighten them up with a half inch socket or wrench. All right, once you have your bolts tightened down, you can start putting it together. You take your washer, you slide it in, you take the back of your pulley, it is keyed, so it'll slide on just like that. Next up, your brass bushing. After that, you can put your belt on, slide it over the clutch.
Next up, you're going to put on your little spacer, your slide for the, uh, the spring driven part of the pulley. It's keyed as well. And also make note that this side with the flat edges right here, you want that on the outside. It's keyed as well. Okay, next up, you're going to take your pulley. This side faces the engine, your shiny part right here. Slide that guy on. Next up is your cover plate. Slide that guy on. And then this piece is keyed to slide into there. See, it won't go on any other way except this way right here. And then you go ahead and insert your bolt. Now this is half inch as well. Tighten this down. Next up is your bolt. If you get your torque converter brand new, then this will only be on just finger tight. You're going to tighten it down with a 24 millimeter. So you'll go ahead and tighten that guy down. I've already tightened mine down. It may come to where you need to set this on the go-kart itself or the mini bike, hook the chain up to it, and then tighten it with the wheel sitting there. You'll have to go back a step if this is the wrong sprocket, then you need to take this nut off, slide this whole assembly off, and change out your sprocket. And of course, you're going to want to do that before you do the belt. But uh, I ordered a 420 chain. That's already what mine came with. That's it. You'll be all set.